Shaq took me on a trip today. A trip today, I tell you. He said, don't worry, Miss Girl. You might be out the villa, but I will grab the baton that you were passing to me and I too will be on smoke. I love it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing. I almost said Married at First Sight. What show is this? It might as well be Married at First Sight with Shaq and Tanya in here. But anyways, um... No, what show is this for real? Love Island. <sighs> Season 9, episode 15. Before I get into it, please make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and leave a comment down below. Yeah, yeah. So in the uh, recoupling, Will is first to go. Of course, the man chooses Jesse. I'm not gonna lie. I love how she does her little run to him. I'm like, okay, that's cute or whatever. He is followed by Aaron, who picks Lana. Spencer picks Olivia. Shaq. Picks Tanya. Mm -mm. Kai picks <laughs> Sammy. Ron picks Tanyelle, leaving Tom obviously in like the worst position he could be in. And he chooses um, Ellie, which means Zara is out of here. Now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Zara's ups are her biggest champions. You're going to have them falling at your feet. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to hug my dad. <laughs> I know myself and Zara haven't had the best bride in here. We've had our ups and downs, but I honestly think she's such a great girl and she deserves the best. If y'all don't, <sighs> anyways, Zara, book yourself into a nice hotel, have a masseuse come to your room because I know that back is in pain. I know your back is hurting, sweetie. Put your feet up and take a rest. You deserve. The villa is suspicious of Tenyal and Ron's friendship. They feel like there's something more brewing under the surface. I feel like I've actually been really like Go on. open with my feelings with you lately. Yeah. And I was thinking I'd much rather be with you. Yeah. Yeah. Than be his second option. I, I genuinely oh think they have a connection. Like I've said it for I said it to you, wasn't I? Saying that I, said, day one. I said it to you, didn't I before? I've never felt so hostile from someone being with Ron. Than Tanya. I don't know like of course friends can turn into lovers but I feel like because they've already been down this road before they would have explored it if there was anything more than just friendship and plus Tanyelle is a type where if she likes you you gonna know about it unless unless you're Kai and you know she wants you to chase and she wasn't really putting herself out there in the beginning but at some point she's gonna let you know hey I'm feeling you what's the deal so I don't think there's anything there time will tell lana is having a conversation with ron and she's saying i see the connection i see the vibe i know you guys get along great and ron he doesn't deny it i see you and sammy mm -hmm. i'm not blind and i see her like wanting to be around you and i see you wanting to be around her get to know spencer get to know aaron get to know whoever walks through that door at some point i'm gonna have my week where I'm, I'm coupled with you. You say this and like, you, are, you have got the gift of the gab, I'll give you that. I'm still where I was. Actions are a lot louder than words. And that's it. Suppose. He knows that I'm taking a step back and doing my own thing for now. For now. For now, for good. What do you mean for now, for good? As we all know, there is no problem exploring in this villa. There's no problem. Do what you gotta do, but do not sell me a dream. Not me, child, I don't wanna be Lana. Do not sell Lana a dream time and time again, and then shit on that same dream every single time. That's a mind F, truly. No, girl, you have seen his true character. I don't even know why you step back, walk out the room. Forget the door, leave the building. Sammy and Kai touch base and <laughs> I don't know if Kai is trying to convince Sammy to be into him, but I'm pretty sure he's aware that he's third on the totem pole when it comes to her interests. So he's like, oh, Ron has a connection with, with uh, Tanyelle, don't you see it? I'm still getting to know everyone at the minute. All of you have different qualities, like, so... Uh, yeah, and it's, it's hard, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I think Ron and Tanya will be happy, you know. I think they've got a bit more of a spark than they're letting on. Hmm. Yeah, like, just watch it. Like, them two. I think them two will end up in a proper couple. Me and Kai really, really get along. So far, I haven't had that, like, 
cheeky, fun, like, flirty vibe from him yet. And I had that with a couple people in here, and I haven't had that yet with Kai. Kai, honey, you're not slick. <laughs> <laughs> You're not slick. And even if she decides that her connection with Ron isn't as strong as it might be um, in her head or her connection with Tom might might not be strong because I feel like those are really who she wants to pursue. Those are the guys she wants to pursue. She's going to end up talking to you and realize it's better to be single. Unless this man changes his name, changes his personality, changes his whole demeanor and everything. There, there's not going to be anything there. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I hate to say it. I feel like, and then if somebody comes with these characteristics, I might have to eat my words because that's not a nice thing to say. But I feel like it needs to be somebody who's dense. I feel like that's the only way somebody's going to be around Kai long term and be like, ah, oh, yeah, this is the man for me. I'm sorry, guys. That was me. Do I take it back? Not really. No, not really. No. Ron feels like, um, what does he feel like, child? Oh, he's so exhausting. The whole three-letter brigade is just so exhausting to listen to. Um, what did I say? Oh, he said never say never, um, when it comes to Lana. And Tom also said never say never when it comes to Ellie. I think always say never because I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Ellie has been told to her face how many times, girl, it ain't nothing more than a flirt. So why are you not telling her never say never? Lana has been told to her face multiple times. All these women technically are better than you, but I chose you. You should be happy. No, always say never. Moving on, Shaq. <sighs> Shaq. Shaq and Tanya or on the terrace. And I'm like, this is gonna be another sweet moment. Like, it is what it is, it's cute or whatever. And then Shaq keeps talking. And 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 and, 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 and then big man Shaq is starting to, to to say some big man words. The way the way I feel about you is mm -hmm. just it's just getting stronger and stronger every day. Tell you find the words guys i promise you <laughs> I, I cannot speak my job was on the floor for at least 15 minutes at least i'm still trying to collect myself i never understand when people say i love you before being in a relationship i just feel like there's so much that encompasses love i think that they have love for each other but love like love like my heart sank when he said that. And then it sank again when these two are in the bed talking about prenup, prenup. You only just dropped the album three hours ago. <laughs> Anyways, child, regardless of how you feel about this relationship, we can all admit that Shaq has been a stellar Islander this whole season. He's found his person. They said they love each other. If they play it straight, i.e., um, Casa Amor, i.e. more bombshells, and they make it to the end. If they do not win, the UK, you're never beating the big R allegations. Never. So I don't know about y'all, but my ITV hub was tripping for like 10 minutes or something. So I don't know if anything happened before the bombshells were announced to come in the villa. However, before the ladies get to meet the two new men, Tanya and Shaq let the villa know what's been said. I've got a little secret. Oh, what? I was actually gonna tell you boys one night this morning, yeah. I just wanna let you know that I love you. <laughs> what? Yeah. Fucking huge, bro. Yo, Tom's face. <laughs> Tom's face looked like somebody went and slapped his mama. Like, cause you know he's sensitive about his mama. And I just want, I want to clarify, guys, I don't think like Zara was out of pocket for saying what she said about like, I hope your parents are proud of you. I just know for me, the way I feel about my mama, the way I feel about my daddy, I don't, I, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words to me. Those are fighting words to me personally. I enjoyed the drama though. Don't get it twisted. But anyways, yeah, Tom, it's like he cannot fathom people saying I love you, like in general. Is, was it hasty? I think so. But he, he, the way he looked was just like, oh God, never say that. 
So the bombshells we have are Casey, who is 26, and Jordan, who is 28. Casey is in recruitment, I think he said, and Jordan is a senior HR... Senior HR... Did I even write it down? Advisor. Yeah, I'm 26. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm actually 28. Finally! Oh, really? Finally, I'm not the oldest in the middle! I can't wait to get on job. Yeah, I'm excited to get my flirt on with them. Oh my god. I literally sat around the fire pit and I was just sweating, not even because of the sun. What's happening, boys? <laughs> All right, lads. Both of them are fucking shredded, aren't they? <laughs> oh, he's tall as fuck as well. Is it? Jesse and Tanya immediately both locked themselves off. I said, wow, Jesse, really? Okay. Okay, sure. Tanya though, she she feels like maybe the timing of the I love you could have could have been uh could have been better cuz right now is bad timing. Jordan is her type. She's not going to pursue it, but she would have if circumstances were different. Anyways, um all the other women are fair game, obviously, and the two guys get texts that they get to date three women each we don't see all the three dates it's just one date casey picks lana and on his date with lana honestly i feel like this is the first time i've seen this woman smile cheek to cheek in like a week all right i'm good how are you yeah good you feel like you're gonna stir some things up in the villa um i don't think i'm gonna stir things in the villa mm. i'm just gonna very much be myself yeah go who i want to go for yeah there's definitely some girls that i'd like to get to know more that yeah the boys probably won't be too happy about yeah um, when you first walked into the villa i was looking at your eyes and your teeth because you've got amazing eyes and teeth <laughs> and also like i'm massive on energy so like as soon as someone walks in like i can tell if like i'm gonna vibe with them or not um, am i but, your type yeah Big time. Am I? Um, yeah, you are. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah. Lana, I'm starting to think you're the one without chat. And I don't know if it's because you had just been stuck with Ron for so long that all y'all talk about is attraction and connections and whatever. Like, where was the real life conversation? Where was the substance? And if production cut that out, then my apologies. But if they didn't, then girl, come on. You got a new man in here. You're obviously attracted to him. He's attracted to you. Have the deep conversation or at least a prelude to a deep conversation. Get to know this guy. Sift him out quick because Jordan is also an option. I don't know if that's your flavor, but you say he fine. So, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to lock something down real quick. We know they're attracted to you. Let's well, I don't know about Jordan, but let's move off of that, get to know these men and solidify something so you don't have to worry about Ron no more. Anyways, Jordan's date was with Tanyelle. It's giving grown sexy, okay? The man said he is touching 30. He's not here for the games. I would say that I'm very mature for my age. Like, I know what I want. Like, I'm not really here to play games. Mm. Uh, like, I'm here to sort of find a life partner and just like settle down and start life. I've always had like a friendship first or it's developed after yeah. so it's just something i need to see but i do like that you're confident and you do come across really mature and like a man to me i love this for tenyal i love this for tenyal i want to see the 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 grown sexy vibe come out of tenyal i mean it's already there but i'd love to see her with a partner that matches that energy because kai was not it ain't never gonna be it, it mm -mm. and even him with sammy i feel like sammy is gonna drop him soon Two, which means he will be alone and maybe we will be released from the shackles that is Kai. The guys request uh, Olivia and Sammy for the second dates, but we don't even get to see that because back at the villa, Kai's having a realization that maybe he may have crapped the bed and uh, Ron, Ron is also having that realization, but by way of Shaq, who was here like, here's salt, here's the wound, rub it in. We just fucked all our situations up. <laughs> no, don't bring us into that. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to go and do that. She needs to go find out what sort of fella he is and then realise that I'm better. Like, it's, it's literally as simple as that. Do you feel like you've done anything wrong in the Lana situation? One thing I did wrong was promise something that I didn't do. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you the realness now. The way you've treated that girl is so, I feel like it's out of order and it's, and it's a bit wrong. I don't agree with how you treated her. I think what you said and what you do is two completely different things. 
you should, I said should, that if, you if, should, if, should you just gone with Lana and not explored any no, other I person? I, you did. Bro, I, 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 dare, to I dare you to tell me when I said that. Bro, I know she could drop me in the sack. Like, she could drop me like that. You know that she won't. But she won't. Right? Cause she's, you know that she's, she's too won't. nice. Rana scum. I'm so sorry. Like, this man truly believes, like, all that he's doing is to better his relationship with Lana when really he's just deteriorating her self-worth, her self-esteem with every woman that comes into the villa. I feel like there's nothing wrong with tests in the villa. That's the whole point. Explore your options and all that, but there's a way to go about it and it's not Ron's. He acknowledges that he did it the wrong way as well. So why he's being defensive, I don't know. Like we've seen a trend where these guys in the villa do not like accountability whatsoever. So I'm not surprised at the pushback, but you're literally agreeing with what Shaq is saying. So what's with the rah rah? Put it down, please put it down. Um, he definitely is aware that Lana is a type two taken back after all his transgressions. So let's not act like you've been waiting for her to have this moment. No, you were not. No, you were not. You knew the pressure wasn't on you and you could do whatever you wanted and come back with your tail between your legs. But baby, the tables have turned and hopefully Lana has deeped the lesson. Because baby, if you haven't learned it at this point, nobody can help you. Don't save her because she don't want to be saved. Okay. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.